good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. It's been a while, and if you've been wondering where I've been, it's because, well, I've been moving, hence the new backdrop, which is pretty funky, I think you'll agree. I'm really loving it here, and I've missed creating tutorials for you guys, so if you are a regular viewer, I'm really sorry, but hopefully you've been keeping up to date with me on my community tab, and if you're new here, click subscribe because you're going to love some of the content that I've got coming over the coming weeks. I've got lots planned for you. But today I want to give a massive thank you to my friend Vanessa over on Instagram. She goes by the handle of oh Sweet Social. I'm going to link her down below. But I want to thank her for the prompt for doing this kind of video, which where I'm going to run through a lot of the keyboard shortcuts that you can use in Canva. Some of them are old keyboard shortcuts. They've been around for some long time now, but you might not be aware of them. But I've also got a couple of amazing new keyboard shortcuts that are going to save you an absolute ton of time. I'm going to leave those to the end of the video because that's what we all do on YouTube. We leave the good bits till the end, but some of the great bits are also in the middle. So do make sure you stick around for all these keyboard shortcuts that are going to save you a lot of time. Okay, here I am. I'm just in an Instagram post at the moment, and we're going to start off with some really simple keyboard shortcuts. We're going to press C for circle. That's going to give you a circle. And it's really good. You can do a lot of things with these circles now, and I've got a video coming up on some of the new shapes and things like that coming up. R for rectangle it actually gives you a square, but you know, R for rectangle because if you change one of the sides to slightly longer, it becomes a rectangle. Magic! The next one we've got is L for line. I'm just going to press L on the keyboard there. And that brings up our line that we can move and we can connect to these shapes. But as I say, we've got a video coming up about that. The next one I want to show you is if you press T on the keyboard, that's going to bring up your default text. Now, once we've got some text on our design, what we're going to do is we're going to use some of the keyboard shortcuts to be able to change this. And I'm using a Mac keyboard, so mine's command, but if you're using a Windows keyboard, it's the control key, so it's either command or control. Command B to go bold, command U to go underline, command I to go italic. We're going to hold down the command or the control key and the shift key, and then the left or the right or greater than or less than brackets. And that's going to increase or decrease the size of your text. You'll see this is center aligned at the moment, but if I do Command Shift and R, it's going to right align it, and a Command Shift and C is going to center align it. Unfortunately, Command Shift and L used to work, but it now doesn't. I can't get that to work for some reason. So if you try it in the comments, let me know, and if it does change, I will keep you updated. That's some of the really basic keyboard shortcuts that you kind of probably used in other programs, whether that's Word or any other kind of like documentation. Some of those keyboard shortcuts are pretty universal throughout a lot of documents. You can also do things like Command or Control C, Control V for copy and paste. Uh, if you press Control or Command and A, that's going to select all of the items on that page that you've got selected. Once you've got the text item open with your cursor key flashing if you press ctrl a on that one that's going to select all of your text two more quick tips before we move on to the more complicated or more advanced stuff and that is command or ctrl and z is going to do undo command shift and z will do redo or z if you're in the uk like me where it's been pretty warm over the last few days I'm not going to include all of the keyboard shortcuts in this video. As I say, I've got a link to the blog post down below in the description. So do make sure you check that out. I'm going to be keeping that updated with any new keyboard shortcuts. But also there's some other ones in there that you probably want to check out. So do check out the blog post linked down in the description below. Okay, the next one we've got, and that's going to be how you can change your the where your position of your elements are, whether they're at the back, the front, or whether you want to move them forwards or backwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to press on the command or the control key, and then the square brackets, either the left one for moving it backwards or the right one for moving it forwards. But you do have to actually select the item. So let me select the item there, and I'm going to press command on the Mac keyboard, control on the Windows keyboard, and the square bracket is the, you know, you, you know where it is on the keyboard. But you press the right one and that's going to bring it forward each step or the left one and that's going to send it backwards. So that's, you do have to make sure you've got your item selected and you can see that on the screen that that's going behind as I'm doing it. Each keyboard tap is moving it forwards or backwards behind the relevant elements. 
Okay, next one, if I want to just quickly send it to the back or to the front, what I can do is I can press on the command or the control key on the Windows keyboard, plus the option or the alt key. So that's command and option or control and alt, and then the square brackets. So you can see it just quickly sends it to the front or to the back behind all of the elements or in front of all of the elements. If you forget what these are, it actually tells you next to the words here. Next one is to quickly group and select items. So as I say, when you've got your page selected, you can do command A to select all those. And if you do command or control on the Windows keyboard and click the group item, that's gonna quickly group all of the items that you've got selected to ungroup or command shift G to ungroup those so it tends to be that if it's a command or control button and then a letter that's to do it if you want to undo it then you press the shift key to undo that one another quick keyboard for you is the command and d that's going to duplicate your items so you can just click pressing that if you've got a particular element you want to have lots of you can just keep pressing that another quick one that you can do if you want to duplicate items is if you press down and hold the option key and then that allows you to, and then click and drag the item it allows you to create a quick duplicate okay and that brings me on to these two big keyboard shortcuts that are going to save you a lot of time when it comes to designing or creating content in canva and that is when you're anywhere on the canvas, if you press the forward slash key on the keyboard, it's gonna bring up this magic menu. And you can come down, you can select tables, you can select emojis, rectangles, pie charts, all sorts of things. You can even search in the photos, the videos, or even the logos, the grids. And also you've got this new find and replace text option here. However, if I just create myself a few bunch of text elements so I'm just going to quickly duplicate that and delete that and now this is big because imagine if you've got a lot of templates that you're designing for a client and you've gone through and you've put their brand name on there and you want to quickly use that for a different client or for someone else or you've spotted a spelling mistake and you created duplicate templates or multiple templates or a big document where you spotted a spelling mistake they've got now a find and replace text option so if I on just click here I'm just gonna press command or which is the control key and F now I can find the word text and I can replace this with words okay now I can replace one of them or I can click replace all and in one or two simple clicks, you've now got a find and replace text option in Canva. And on that note, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, bye for now.